What's going on, everybody? So, I need your guys' help really badly. Um, if any of you are from the Connecticut area, I'm looking for a specific vehicle. Um, I do have the old registration card from it. I can read you the VIN or whatever you need, but I really want to find this car. Um, this is my dad's Mustang that he left to me. So the, the story behind the car is that we sold it when I was about 10 or 12 years old, somewhere within that time frame. And um, a week after we sold it, the car caught fire. So I was always told that the car is no longer around. They went to the junkyard, got scrapped or whatever. Um, I don't have an actual picture of the vehicle, but I do have one that looks very, very similar to it. differences in the picture of that vehicle is the top on that one is white the top on the one that I'm looking for is tan the interior is also gray in the one that I'm looking for the interior in the picture is white and um, the one in the picture is an LX I'm looking for a GT but it looks very very similar to what I'm looking for um, so I ran a Carfax on this VIN and it comes back that it was last registered in 2019 in Trumbull Connecticut so if any of you are from that area or anybody watching this video are from that area and you have seen this car, please get into touch with me. Um, I highly doubt it's for sale, but I've been looking for it for a very long time. And um, it would be awesome if I could find it and do a, a build on it, restore it if it's not in too good a shape. Um, I really want it back though. Um, I do have cash, so I can go there with cash or whatever. It's not a problem, but let me read you off the bin. And then I'll explain to you the, the year, make and model, and everything like that. So the VIN is 1FABP45E4KF117862. That's the VIN number. Um, the color of the car is teal. It's a convertible 89 Mustang GT. If any of you have seen it around or any of you know where it might be, Please get in touch with me on my Instagram or my email and uh, give me a heads up because I'm really looking for it and um, you know it'd be awesome to do a complete build on it so if you guys can help me out that would be awesome um, I've been looking for it for a little while so just uh, if any of you know anything about it please uh, get in touch with me one way or the other but um, yeah so I do have videos coming up with the Jeep behind me here um, I have, I already have the videos made, so next week's video is going to be more of like a vlog type video for just like random stuff on this. Um, I also, next week's video is going to answer a lot of your questions that you guys dropped in the comments. <clears throat> and um, the week after that is going to be the 100 subscriber giveaway winner video. Um, I already picked a subscriber, but I'm not going to release it right this minute. Um, so that's coming up in two weeks. I want to give you guys a little bit more time to comment on that video that I, that I posted just to get more entries and more of a chance for everybody. So that's coming up too. And then I have a video too. Uh, I put a tracker in the Jeep just so I can monitor it, if, you know, if it ever gets stolen or anything from it. So I do have a video with that coming up also. And then, um, We'll see, maybe we can do some more modifications to this, or I don't know, we'll figure something out, but that's as far as the future as I have right now. So definitely look forward to those videos coming up. And if anybody knows anything about this vehicle right here, please, I'm begging you guys, please get into touch with me. Uh, the car means a lot to me and it would be awesome to have it back, do a build on it. You know, it would, if I got my hands on it, it would never be for sale again. But Anyways, so if you guys can help me, thank you. Um, just keep your eyes open, especially if you're from that area. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.